How's it going everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here coming at you once again. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great one here today. So for all my fellow backpackers and campers out there, you know, what we love about doing those activities is, you know, sitting around the campfire or just sitting around camp and sharing some fun stories with fellow campers and fellow backpackers. You know, that's a part of the experience and what we all love about being outside and being in the outdoors. I've heard my fair share of some wild stories uh, in my time um, and certainly with all my years of backpacking as well and certainly on my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike I certainly have uh, had the time to develop some of my own uh, crazy trail stories for you as well. So that being said, I thought it would be a great opportunity to share some of those stories and also create the opportunity for some of you to share your stories with me and also possibly share those stories with the rest of you. So we're gonna go ahead and start a nice little mini series called Campfire Stories. So grab a cup of coffee, settle on in, let's go ahead and get started. So okay, the first story that I have here for you today is one from my Appalachian Trail through hike and one actually from very early on in my Appalachian Trail through hike one of my favorite stories to tell. This is called The Legend of Squatch. You probably say that a little bit more epically, consider that sounds like an epic story. Okay, let's do that again. The Legend, the Legend of, of Squatch. Squatch. Okay, let's get to the story. Uh, let me give you some context and some things surrounding it first, and then we'll go ahead and dig into it. So full disclosure, this is not about an interaction or an experience that I had with a Sasquatch in the woods. This is about a southbound hiker that I met in the early stages of my Appalachian Trail through hike, whose trail name was actually Squatch. And he kind of looked like one a little bit too. He was 6'4", built like a linebacker. Good old boy from the backcountry woods of Pennsylvania. Of course, he was uh, on trail for quite some time, uh, so he was all scraggly and a little, uh, a little rough behind. Uh, a little rough around the edges kind of thing. So Squatch was a southbound through hiker. He had been on trail for about eight months, uh, and at one point in time, he said he did not see anybody for about two months entirely besides just running into town real quick you know to grab some extra ramen and get back out sort of deal so he lived in isolation for quite some time he kind of went into the trail expecting it to be actually wild trail he did like no research whatsoever so he actually started off the trail with a rifle ammunition with an axe uh with his kukri with a whole boatload of gear basically built down uh, kind of more like a bushcrafter than actually a backpacker. So he learned very quickly after trying to hike up to Katahdin with 100 pounds of gear, complete overkill. So he went back, recouped a little bit, but he still started off the trail with like an ax, with a, with a kukri, with a saw, a couple other things as well that you just scratch your head and be like, all right, whatever floats your boat. So yeah, he, uh, okay. So basically the way this starts is we were uh, heading on into a shelter called Blue Mountain Shelter. So the reason we were trying to get to the shelter was because there were some crazy storms coming in um, and especially being up at like 3,800, 3,900 feet of elevation, uh, basically along a ridge line. You know, staying in our tent wasn't a very safe option for us. So we were doing our best to really, you know, get to the shelter, get there kind of mid-afternoon-ish. Um, and just kind of hunker down for the evening. So Fernando and I rolled into the shelter and Squatch was already out front with his kukri swinging away on a huge down branch chopping up some firewood. So let me lay the scene out there for you. Fernando and I roll on in, you know, Squatch has his gear down on the deck in the corner of the shelter. Fernando and I are sitting in the shelter starting to put our own gear out. Another hiker is putting his gear out on the opposite side of the shelter from where Squatch was. Again, Squatch is out front swinging his kukri, you know, chopping up firewood and getting some firewood going. And then he saw setting up us, setting up our gear and came into the shelter and that's where the story begins. So since we only did eight miles today, it looks like we're gonna have to do 12 tomorrow. Um... Hey, so y'all staying in the shelter tonight? All right, listen, I don't like nobody getting close to me. I ain't puppy dogging it, you hear? Uh, yeah, dude. I don't want to cuddle up next to you either. We're good. So, lo and behold, Fernando and I are then sitting there, you know, we look at each other and we're thinking to ourselves, do you want to move on? However, the next shelter was like 12 miles ahead and it was at higher elevation. So, while Fernando and I are sitting there, you know, talking to ourselves, deliberating whether or not to move out, you know, Squatch grabs his 
his big mug. He goes and puts his, you know, mug of water onto, you know, the nice hot fire outside and starts boiling water. So then other hikers started rolling in. And like I said, he had been out in the woods for far too long. He had been isolated for far too long. Cause then things just got weird. Oh good, looks like y'all staying. Looks like we got some thunderstorms rolling in. Y'all want some coffee? Uh, sure. Now this is just that instant stuff. It ain't no Starbucks, but it'll do. Thanks bro. Appreciate it. Now, Hiker Credo out here. If y'all got something to trade, I'll take that Snickers bar. Uh, yeah, man, it's yours. Just, just don't kill me. Well, all right. No joke, that's exactly how the interaction went. Like I said, it was a weird interaction, but a legendary one. You know, he actually ended up being a, a, a good guy. You know, a little rough around the edges, of course but a good guy nonetheless. As other hikers started rolling in, you know, he's only 50 miles from finishing after eight months finally, but 50 miles from finishing. So he was giving some of us, you know, some tips and information about what to experience further on down the trail. Gave a couple people their trail names for the, for the rest of the hike as well. And like I said, a little rough around the edges. Great interaction, a funny interaction, and a story to tell for years and years. Hikers, you know, caught up to us further down the trail. We started hearing stories from them as well. Apparently, you know, he had a loincloth that he would hike in even when it was only like 20 degrees out and snowing on one of the days in particular. You know, he came across the road wearing nothing but a loincloth and that was about it. So people had some really funny stories to tell, their own experiences and own, own interactions, but this was Fernando and I's interaction on our trail story about the legend of Squatch. So thank you all so much for joining me here today on the first episode, the first edition of Stories from the Trail. And as well, I want to hear from you all. I'm sure you all have lots of great stories as well. I want to hear about them. I want to share them with the rest of my audience, with the rest of the backpacker community. So if you have your own story to tell, feel free to share them with me at bobsoutdoorlife at yahoo.com. I will be happy to share them on my own YouTube channel and do my best to portray the story in a great way. Uh, they could be funny, they could be scary, they could be sad. Uh, but let's hear those stories. I think it'll be a great way to kind of bring uh, the backpacker community together. So thank you all so much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all my future videos as well. Send in those stories to me. I'll be happy to share them moving forward. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Baba Ganoush, out.